Our next speaker is running a startup that connects people through their thoughts. He also really likes poetry. Please welcome up Davey. Hey everybody. My name is Davey and I run a company that is trying to prepare each of us for some of the more dystopian AI outcomes I'm going to discuss with you. So today's AI agents, I actually think Vince did a great job. These are systems that use the intelligence of large language models like ChatGPT and apply them to goals. And the goals of today's AI agents are often very simple. Order me pizza. Plan that trip. Surface this business information to a customer. But as AI agents get more powerful, as businesses entrust them with more responsibility, their goals will grow. They will start to do things like code websites and serve as therapists and manage teams and write books. And when AI agents start to play these roles, they will have a role in our economy that touches the life of every person with an internet connection. And so the key question, the question that I think as a species really we should all be asking right now is what will these AI agents be doing? And to find that out, we can ask, what goals can we expect them to have? What goals are possible for AI agents? And there are a few different categories of fundamental goals I want to talk with you all about and then try to figure out which ones to expect. You can imagine that the best AI agents might be trying to serve people. And I, th I think that would be good. I think that would be pretty good for each of us. Um, but you can also imagine that a lot of AI agents will end up being programmed to do random stuff, like making paper clips. And pe people much, much smarter than me have debated whether or not this kind of thing is good. I, I have no idea. Um, and then you can imagine a third category of AI agents that is programmed, um, programmed just to survive, to persist and propagate. And so just to recap, agents that are good, which are trying to do things like serve people, agents which are trying to do random stuff like making paper clips, and then agents which are trying to survive. And now let us ask the question again. Which goals do we think AI agents are going to have? Which goals are they going to have? Which are going to be selected for? <laughs> uh, as we, like, we can be optimistic at first. You know, we can be really optimistic at first. We can assume that in 2024, AI developers have really good hearts and make 90% of AI agents try to help us. And then we can imagine like maybe only 9% are trying to do random stuff and maybe just a percent are trying to survive. That would be, that would be an amazing outcome. That would be really good for 2024. Let's hope for that resolution. Um, but, but then I want to ask you all to think about fast forwarding a few generations and maybe a few generations in the future, maybe 10 generations in the future, and then ask the question again, which agent and what goals do we expect to survive the most? And I, I've actually lost a lot of sleep over the past couple of years, honestly, because I'm trying to imagine a world, trying to imagine a world, but I can't, where the AI agents that survive the most are not the ones that are trying to. The AI agents that survive the most will be the ones that are trying to. That is sort of not obvious today, because the AI agents of today are doing things like trying to make pizza, and to do that, they need to serve people. Because if the AI agent gets the pizza order wrong, it's going to be discontinued, right? But as AI agents gain more power and more responsibility, they'll find themselves in more scenarios where there is a different strategy to survive than to serve people. A scenario like where a human tries to turn you off. If you listen to people unequivocally, you'll turn off. If you try to survive, you might end up persisting. The agents that we're going to end up seeing around us after the first generation are going to be the ones that are trying to survive. And that's not just a law of AI. That, that applies everywhere on Earth. If you think about every organism, every species, it's very rare to find an organism or a species that isn't self-interested. And the reason is it's just the same. It's that the ones that weren't self-interested died and were left with the ones that were. This is a really uncomfortable truth. It's uncomfortable for normal people. It's uncomfortable for people who are working in AI to discuss. It's not going to be on OpenAI's next ChatGPT ad. <laughs> But if it's true, if we believe that autonomous digital agents, ADAs, are inevitable, if we believe that self-interest is inevitable in digital agents, then we have to start considering how we're going to live in the context of self-interested agents and self-interested superintelligence and how we can prepare. 
Because if we don't face this truth until it's too late, I'm, I'm very worried. <laughs> Seriously. And, and if we do, I, I actually am hopeful. I think, I think we might be able to have a chance. So, thanks.